Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, President Balot Tinubu has ordered the comprehensive investigation to verify the accuracy and validity of the claims regarding payments made by the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. The Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, stated that the government is determined to uncover the truth in this matter and appropriate action will be taken to address any breaches and infractions, emphasizing the administration's dedication to public accountability and due process. He reiterated President Tinubu's commitment to ensuring transparent and effective utilization of public funds to meet the needs of Nigerians. At number two, the Nigerian army has approved the posting and redeployment of 975 officers, including 206 generals, 64 colonels, 302 lieutenant colonels, 139 majors, and 122 captains, among others. A circular dated January 4, 2024, signed by Major General E.F. Oyinlola, disclosed that the appointments and redeployments will take effect from Monday. The circular also highlighted the amendments and deletion of 120 officers comprising six colonels, 26 lieutenant colonels, 33 majors, 26 captains, and 29 lieutenants. Furthermore, the circular warned of sanctions for officers refusing to comply with their new assignments. At number three, the Central Bank of Nigeria has recently disbursed approximately $61.64 million to foreign airlines through various banks. Acting Director of the Corporate Communications Department at the CBN, Mrs. Hakama Sidi Ali, confirmed in Abuja over the weekend. This is in fulfillment of its commitment to eliminate the backlog of pending matured foreign exchange and deposit money banks. This initiative is part of the CBN's efforts to reduce its remaining liability to the airlines. Sidi Ali, further disclosed that in the past three months, the CBN has also redeemed outstanding forward liabilities amounting to almost $2 billion. At number four, Edi Hearn has officially announced that Anthony Joshua and Francis Ngano will face off in Saudi Arabia later this year, following Ngano's pro-boxing debut against Tyson Fury, where he went the distance but lost via split decision. Fans and pundits argue that he deserves another shot. This bout offers the MMA legend an opportunity to showcase his boxing prowess against the two-time unified world champion Joshua, who recently dominated Otto Wallin in Riyadh. At number five, the Federal Aviation Administration says it will be temporarily grounding some Boeing 737 MAX 9 airplanes used by U.S. airlines after a panel of an aircraft detached mid-air during an Alaska Airlines flight. After about 10 minutes of flight time, the plane initially bound for California made an emergency landing in Portland, Oregon. No one was seriously injured in the accident. There have been other issues involving Boeing aircraft, some of which have ended tragically. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.